All right, Shalom. Call Hala Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim, Rukal Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who taught me this truth. Enough respect to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopeful elect that's pushing this truth in sincerity and risking their lives to do so across the globe. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Barakadam to you, Akim, as well as the Akwa that are listening and learning. This is your brother Yahweh from the Birmingham branch coming to you again with this 100% doctrine. And today's lesson is going to be on a concubine, lesser than a wife. All right. Because today we're going to the common board and we're addressing, I'm assuming, all right, uh, this woman here, man, uh, Ninya Harris, which is a follower. All right. She leaves comments every now and then. All right. Nevertheless, uh, this comment stuck out to me, both of them, all right, which, you know, our women pretty much can get in their feelings, man, sometimes, all right, but through scripture, all right, we always seem to prove them, all right, a little bit wrong, or all the way wrong, all right, through scripture, all right, so this message is pretty much letting you know, don't, don't get in your feelings right now, man, all right. So let's read. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying and comforting. All right. It says, uh, just three days ago, the top one highlighted comment, he must be coming to hit these nasty heathen dogs in the head with his staff, LOL. Now, I don't know if that showed up, all right, to the public, but I know the second one did show up to the public because I replied to her uh, second comment. All right. And it says, damn, where is the sisters? Are they not jewels of Yehuda? And that's a first mistake. All right, who are these heathens? So I simply, all right, uh, responded. And, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai are the names of the Most High. You know, God, the living power, and his only begotten son, not Yehuda. This is simply a depiction of concubines and the kingdom. Which is true. You see the picture on the right hand side, which I blow it up. All right. I just used that as a pretty much a uh, prop. All right. Or depiction almost to come on the video at hand. Which is, you know, we always do videos and, and the message is in the videos. And the question is, did you get the message? You know, because pictures and stuff throw people off. All right. Now, these women can be of, of, of our tribes, and then they can be of other nations as well. But there's only seven nations, all right, that we shouldn't deal with. And it was written of. And we're going to get into that, uh, Nina Harris, all right, since you're pretty much in your feelings, okay? Uh, we're going to start in the book of, uh, matter of fact, I was already there. Tobit, all right, chapter 6. Verse 15. Now listen up. All right. Tobit 6 and 15. It reads in the Apocrypha now. Then the angel said unto him, Doest thou not remember the precepts which thy father gave thee, that thou shouldest marry a wife of thine own kindred? Wherefore hear me, O my brother, for she shall be given thee to wife, and make thou no reckoning of the evil spirit. For this same night shall she be given thee in marriage. Okay, so pretty much our wives are going to be of our own nation. All right, the 12 tribes, you see, of our own kindred, which our fathers before us wrote unto us and have done the same thing. Nevertheless, we are going to have concubines of other nations, you see. So a concubine is simply a lesser wife, which we're going to get that. Let's go to another precept. All right. This is the book of um, Leviticus chapter 21, starting at 14, and it reads, A widow or a divorced woman or profane or an harlot, these shall he not take, but he shall take a virgin of his own people to wife. Now that there says and entails a lot because most of our women out there are not virgins. You see, and this is how the thing, uh, you know, things was handled in those days, man. All right. And that's why you shouldn't take a widow 
divorced or profane or unharlot. All right? You should take a, a, a pure woman, so to speak, all right, of your own tribe, of your own kindred, right? And she should be a virgin. All right? Verse 15, neither shall he profane his seed among his people, for I, the Lord, do sanctify him. Yeah, you shouldn't be no damn porno star out there. You shouldn't be no pimp or whoremonger out there, man. Profaning your seed amongst your people, man. All right? This is why we have concubines. This is why we have other virgins, man. Multitude and multitude of them. And we will have them in the kingdom, whether you be in your feelings or not. All right? And those of you uh, are women, you Akwath out there that understand this, hey, well, you will have a great reward. All right? Whomsoever you be given to, all right? Or whosoever choose you. You see? Point blank, period. You shouldn't get in your feelings about pictures and, and depictions of what we speak on, all right? You should just stay back and listen, all right? Or videos like this come up. So let's go to the scriptures where it tells you not to take wives of certain nations. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 1. When the Lord, Yahweh, 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 Shah, thy power shall bring thee into a land, the land whether thou goest to possess it, and hath cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites, and the Girgashites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jubasites, seven nations greater and mightier than you. Now, these seven nations all stems from Ham. All right. It all stems from Ham. And these are our Hermetic tribes, if you will, which became huge nations. You see? Nations of nations. All right. It says, verse two, and when the Lord, Yahweh, 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 Shah, thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show no mercy. All right. Nor show mercy unto them. You see, so when Yahweh, Shah makes his move, all right, and deliver these nations in our hand once more. All right. When the usher of the kingdom of heaven to come. We shouldn't deal with these nations. We should make no covenant with them. All right, why? Verse 4. <clears throat> Salaki, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. You see? So we shouldn't give our sons nor our daughters to these nations. All right? And you can find that story uh, uh, way back in Genesis, man. All right, when Ham looked up on his father's nakedness. All right, now that's when he was got. Well, that's when he got cursed, man. Okay, and of these nations came these seven. You see, do your research. All right, so those are the nations we shouldn't deal with. All right, nor make marriages with them. Okay, verse four. Why? For they will turn away thy son from following me that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. So we understand that the ones that's in this ministry, all right, the meek, all right, the, 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 the ones uh, with the humility that's on them, okay, we understand these commandments that Yahweh, Yahweh Shah puts out for us to pretty much know, all right? And you see what happened to uh, King Solomon, man. Great king. All right. Nevertheless, uh, as he got older in his rulership, he started falling after these, these women, man, and serving these strange gods, man. And this is why Yahweh Ba'i Shem Yahweh Shai had to destroy, you know, take it down pretty much, man. All right. It led to a whole another can of worms, man. Pretty much whoop ass of Yahweh Ba'i Shem Yahweh Shai. You see? So we have the, 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 the blueprint on what we can and cannot do. It didn't say we can't take concubines, which is a lesser wife. You see? So let's go, let's get let's get some more. Deuteronomy 25, starting at verse 5. Uh Salaki. Genesis <laughs> 25 and 5. All right. And it reads, and Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac. Hey, that's it. 
entail scripture in itself, man, if you read it with discernment. Who you think Isaac was, man? You see? Yahweh Shah, man. All right? It's like the Heavenly Father has given his only begotten son, right? Everything is well. Continuing on, it says, but unto the sons of the concubines, and this is how we treat concubines. This is how we treat the children of concubines. All right? Verse 6, but unto the sons of concubines, which Abraham hired, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac, his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. So Abraham had a lot of sons, had a lot of children, right? But he said he gave Isaac, all right, everything. Because why does firstborn? You see, there's a law about that as well. If you, you got a wife, you hate to dwell with her. You know, you have a son and you have another son by another woman. All right, the first son you had with the woman you hate. All right, you still, uh, you still, he, he's still your heir. You see, he still gets to inherit what you have by law. You see, as it is Abraham all right now, and as it is all right should be to this day. But nevertheless, you know, people just, just threw the damn law behind their back. You know, but you gotta understand that these concubines, these sons of these concubines, all right, had gotten gifts. But Isaac got everything. Abraham was 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 rich, man. I mean, it was, was wealthy, you see? Out of control, man. All right? These are our still men you're talking about here, man. All right? So with that, let's get to uh, the word concubine that I got pulled up. All right? And it says in polygamous, uh, more societies, which is, you know, <laughs> this is Esau, man, playing on words, man. But anyway, it says a woman who lives with a man but has lower status than his wife or wives, a mistress. That's what a concubine is. All right? For, so for you so-called black women, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, you Native Americans of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right, you will be, all right, joined, all right, with a man, all right, uh, uh, by marriage, by, by a man going unto you. That's, that makes y'all uh, that one. Nevertheless, in the kingdom, we have we will have multiple wives and multiple concubines, pretty much multiple virgins, if we will. All right. So let's go back. Um, all right. Let's go to the book of Second uh, Samuel. All right, chapter five, verse thirteen, and it reads, "And David took him more concubines and wives out of Jerusalem." After he was come from Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to David. So did 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 the heavenly Father, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, did 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 he punish David for taking more wives and concubines? Answer that question, Nin Yaharis. Okay. So if you're a so-called New York uh, Israel. Uh, Israelite, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American, okay? And you're pretty much going to be joined to the man of the Lord if you, you know, do the right thing, which is listen, you know? Keep your mouth closed. Keep your comments to a minimum. Shalom, you know, the water uh, for the edification or not, you know? We're still going to continue to push this truth, all right? With all faith and sincerity, Okay? Let's go to another one, you know, because people think, you know, especially our women, they get in their emotions and they think, oh, we, it don't supposed to be like this. And, and, and this monogamy, all this shit, you know, you, you've been you've been sold lies, man. All right. With the wealth that King David had, along with uh, King Solomon as well, after after King David, I mean, what you going to say? What you going to do? Say, no, you can't have that. All right? No, you can't have that women. Hey, man, back in those days, man, women was competing, man. All right? It was all about popping, man. What you think Joseph was doing, man? All right? Had had, uh, uh, the, the wives he had had handmaidens, man, was given to him, man. You see? And it's going to be a kingdom uh, uh, to come like that, man. 
All right. So this is uh, the book of uh, First Chronicles, chapter three. Let's jump to verse nine. It says these were all the sons of David beside the sons of the concubines and Tamar, their sister. You see. So and that gives you a, a, a order on all the sons, man. How you think we're going to be a great nation? How you think we are a nation? All right. A multitude. All right. That's the stars of heaven. That's the sand of the sea, man. And an innumerable multitude, man. So don't believe this lie that we're the minority. All right. We're the majority. The scripture tells us so. We're scattered all amongst nations, man. Looking like all these other nations, man. You see? So this is what you got to get in your skull. Don't let the, all right, uh, uh, the picture fool you, you know. Don't let the picture, picture fool you, man, all right. Hey, hey the women of, of <laughs> the Israelites, man, they the baddest, they the baddest ones, man. Y'all hey, the uh, cream of the crop, as you, if you will, you know. Here it is. White women want to have your bodies and have your looks and have your lips, have your hips, have your shapes. Nevertheless, you want to go out and get blind damn hair, you know? You see how low our women are, you know? As a nation too, man. I got, got brothers out there profaning their seed amongst their people, all right? Against our people, you know? You, hey, you, you shit, man. <laughs> so let's end this off in the book of Tobit. All right, chapter 4, verse 12, it says, Beware of all whoredom, my son, and chiefly take a wife of the seed of thy fathers. Now, what is that telling you, man? Of our nation, of our kindred. That's what we're going to be uh, married unto. Those are going to be our wives. All right? How do you think Isaiah 4 and 1 going to come into play, man? All right? Because you, you, you women, you ain't going to be looking for no entertainers or no rappers or no... Uh, 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 you know, ballers or dope boys, man. You're going to be looking for the for the uh, word of the Lord, man. All right, which is going to be in the prophets, man. Okay? It says, and take not a strange woman to wife. You see, so we don't take strange women to wife. All right? The concubines, okay. Why? No. <laughs> you know, certainly not of the uh, nations of, of, of um, you know, the, the Canaanites. You know, the descendants of Canaan. Okay? Because it was told for, uh, of us in uh, Deuteronomy 7, 1 through 4, man. All right. It says, which is not of thy father's tribe, for we are the children of the prophets. Whoa. Nor Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Remember, my son, that our fathers from the beginning, even that they all married wives of their own kindred and were blessed in their children, and their seed shall inherit the land. Who is that talking about? The descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man. All right, the true prophets, man, of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right, to understand these parables, to understand these breakdowns, to understand the laws. You see? Understand that, that we should uh, walk in them. All right? Make make full proof of the ministry. So that, that don't, you know, we leave no stern on unturned. Okay? So... Back to the, you know, I hope you, you know, your question was answered. You know, it took me a little minute to get to it, you know, bigger fish to fry, but nevertheless, here you is. All right, so with that, hey, I pray this lesson was edifying and comforting. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokah HaKadosh. Till the next time I say Shalom, on to the next one.